Conservation of Ecosystems, Year 2 of A-Level Biology, brought to you on courtesy of Dr. Jim Taylor, one of the world's leading doctors in the preservation of ecosystems. The first thing we must enunciate is the contradistinction between the two very often befuddled terminological definitions, conservation and preservation. Conservation is the protection, management and reclamation of an ecosystem. Think of your biscuit box. You protect your biscuit box. You manage your biscuit box by controlling how many biscuits can be sustainably eaten. And finally, you ensure your biscuit box is topped up when essential resources are running low. Preservation, on the other hand, is the protection of ecosystems so they are kept exactly how they are. You preserve your great-grandmother's false teeth by making sure that they remain in the same state as she left them. There are four main reasons for conservation of ecosystems. The social reasons are as follows. Ecosystems provide joy to many people. Ecosystems provide many activities for people such as bird watching, cycling and riding your motorbike across beautiful landscapes and overtaking slow cars like the one shown in the picture. And also allowing people to go on awesome field trips Economically, ecosystems provide trade for many countries, including clothes, food and medicine. For example, cows must be conserved, otherwise dairy farmers will not make a living and more importantly, we won't be able to drink tea or coffee. Ethically, Animals have the right to live and some tree hug uh, some people believe that it is morally the right thing to do. Ecologically, ecosystems prevent the impact of climate change. For example, conserving trees that constantly use carbon dioxide will prevent an excess of this greenhouse gas in our atmosphere and it can also prevent the disruption of food chains. The 2015 OCR specification requires you to know how we are balancing between managing ecosystems and human needs in these three examples. The Maasai Mera is a conservation site in Kenya. The Maasai people make a living by rearing livestock. The problem is that overgrazing cattle can have a negative impact on the ecosystem. The solution that is trying to be achieved is that the conservation trusts are working with the Maasai people, helping them make money from ecotourism and conservation projects instead of rearing livestock. The Terai Ark is an area of forest and grassland on the border between Nepal and India. An approximate 7 million people live there. The problems are two. The areas of forest are being cleared for housing development. 
This brings animals and humans closer, which unfortunately leads to humans killing animals due to the incompatibility of the two living together. The WWF charity is providing solar cookers and encouraging farmers to plant mint hedges around their crops, which prevents the killing of trees and animals. Peat bogs are partially decomposed organic matter. It is created in wetland environments that are acidic and anaerobic. The problem is that farmers overuse peat bogs to graze cattle, but their maintenance contributes towards flood management and carbon storage. This is due to the simple fact that peat bog ecosystem can hold many species of moss, which is great at holding large amounts of water. If the peat bogs are destroyed, excess carbon is released in the atmosphere and water is no longer held by moss species. But recent government funded programs like the environmental stewardship scheme have given farmers money to use peat bogs in a sustainable way and have instructed farmers to control grazing and to remove some seedling trees which use large amounts of water due to transpiration. And that is the end of this short summary. It would be helpful for you to complete more research on ecosystem management.